What's up guys, Touch by Wipeout here and today I'm going to be reviewing the app Rope and Fly. Rope and Fly is 99 cents the app store. It is currently the number two app. Um, when you get to the menu there are three options or three things you can do. You can go to play, you can go to options or to help. So I'm gonna show you guys play. There are three different difficulties or modes. There's the training mode, which is just a practice mode where there is no high scoring. Uh, you can go to normal or hard, which you guys normal. In this game, you're just this little like Spider-Man character swinging along buildings by shooting out like a little rope into these buildings. As you can see, the, uh, the graphics are very basic compared to a lot of other. Um, apps on the iPod and iPhone is very, you know, not not very good. It's just very cartoony and just blocky buildings. And, uh, the character is just a total, like, rag doll. You know, just legs and limbs flying around, and when you crash, it just explodes. So, I mean, it's alright. Up at the top right there, it shows your uh, distance that you've traveled. So, when you crash, Okay, when you get here, it shows the results, it shows your distance, and the number of ropes you use. You can submit your high score online, play again, or go back to the menu. I'm just going to show you guys the menu. In the menu, you can go to options. You can change the upper and lower part of your uh, character's body. These are what it comes uh, already set as. You can go to help and just, you know, tells the instructions. Touch on a building, you throw a rope. Touch again anywhere to see to release the rope. Try to swing and fly as far as possible before crashing on the ground. Pretty, you know, basic instructions. There is a light version of this game. In the light version, all you can do is a, uh, it's like this 30 second mode where you try and go as far as possible. It is like a lot like that training mode where you cannot store your, or you cannot s submit your high scores and it does not have the options. So that's basically all the app. Um, similar to some Flash game I played a long time ago. If you guys know of that then great. Uh, it's definitely not as good as that. I don't really I don't I don't like this game that much. I played it for like five minutes, got really bored. So it is not that great. If you guys like this kind of game or this appeals to you, go try the light version. If you like it go buy it. You know. So uh, just don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe.